different types of reactions that involve acids. The first one is our neutralization reaction, and that is when you have an acid plus a base. For example, you might have hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. You produce water. So that's why it's called neutralization, because if you put an acid and a base together, you actually neutralize it and get a pH of 7 of neutral. So acid and base produces water, and it also produces something else called salt. Now, you're probably thinking about sodium chloride, table salt, and in some cases that might be, but that's not the only type of salt. A salt is an ionic compound that gets produced when an acid and a base are put together and a chemical reaction occurs and neutralization occurs. So it depends on what type of acid and what type of base. For example, if it was hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide, Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives you water, H2O, plus NaCl. Okay, let's see if that's balanced. Not, it's not balanced, so we need to, let's see. Yes, it is balanced, isn't it? Because we've got two hydrogens here and two there, one oxygen, okay, one sodium, one chlorine. Perfect. Okay, uh, but if we had a different acid, for example, we had sulfuric acid, okay, so we're going to have, um, so, uh, and if it was sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide, we would have sodium sulfate as our salt. So it depends on what acid and base are involved, but a salt is an ionic compound, okay, of two uh, plus a positive and a negative ion, an anion and a cation, um, that uh, occurs in a neutralization reaction. So the next one is an acid plus a metal. We put together an acid plus a metal, we get hydrogen gas plus a salt. So for example, the acid again might be hydrochloric acid and the metal might be magnesium. So, what are we going to get? We're going to get H2 gas, because hydrogen gas is, um, is H2, plus we're going to get a salt. Okay, so this is our cation, and chloride is our anion, so we're going to get magnesium chloride. But we're not quite finished, are we? Because magnesium is plus 2, Okay, chloride is minus one, so if we cross over, we're going to have MgCl2 as the ionic formula. So now we need to go back and have a look at what we can do here. If we put a two in front here, now we've got two hydrogens, we're happy with that. Two chlorines, happy with that. One magnesium, there you go. So it's all starting to come together. All right, so that's an acid and a metal, and it produces hydrogen gas. We're going to do a fun uh, experiment where we do the hydrogen pop test. Next one is acid and carbonate. Okay, so a carbonate is a base that's got uh, a polyatomic ion called carbonate, CO3. So here's an example of an, so we've got, I'm just going to do it up here. So acid plus a carbonate Okay, what does that produce? All right, so, an, so a carbonate is a base, but also contains, um, a, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a carbonate as well. So the trick is that it produces carbon dioxide, so it produces a gas, carbon dioxide, plus it produces, because it's a, a base, it's gonna produce water, plus it produces salt. And again, the salt is going to depend on what type of carbonate it is.